hotties, welcome back to my channel. Today for you, I'm bringing you a fall home decor video. I'm gonna take you along with me and find some pieces and put them all together and I'm gonna show you in detail the whole process. Now, I'd consider myself more of a monochromatic meets glam. So if you're into more traditional, this video may not be for you. But if you're into my style, definitely subscribe and hit that bell because it sounds like we're a match. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, organization videos and I would love to have you. I'm gonna be listing everything for you in the down bar below as well as my website it has everything you need in one place and if you feel like depositing some positive energies into the universe give your girl a thumbs up I'd so appreciate it and if you want to see how I decorate my house for fall and get it all ready to go and come along with me shopping then just keep watching the first place I went to was big lots now they didn't have as much of a selection as I've seen other people on YouTube have which I was kind of disappointed about but they did have a lot of like Halloween and stuff I thought these little pumpkins were cute they were eight dollars so I was like eh that was a little pricey for that in my opinion I was like you know what I'm gonna see what else they have but this is literally all they had for um, the holiday stuff so a little disappointed but the next place we wanted to go to was the Dollar Tree and I actually found some really good stuff at the Dollar Tree like these pumpkins I'm I decorate my kids room in like the funky fall like bright orange and black and white colors so I got them some of that stuff and then they had all of this party supplies, which I think I'm gonna come back, so I'm gonna do like a themed party for my kids. But I definitely picked up some of this caution tape to decorate their room with. This is, their playroom is where we can do all the fun stuff. So this is definitely some more of their Halloween decor. I think this is some stuff you can bring around with you, trick or treating, some candles. And I think I might go back, I see a couple of things that I wanted to get, some of the cups and the fun things for a party. And then they had these little pumpkins um, down below here, which I thought were really cute. I liked especially these textured ones. I just love adding texture to any room or anything that I'm decorating. I think it really brings a nice element. What I love that I found are these gold glass pumpkins, these little ones. I thought this was such good quality for the dollar store and I loved the color of the gold. Sometimes gold is like too yellow or orange, but these ones were really nice. So the next place is Home Goods. Now they had a huge selection. I'm definitely going back. Let me know in the down bar below if you guys want to see another decorate with me video because I'm not done with my whole house. I'm, I'm pretty much just showing you guys the front of the house. So let me know if you guys want to see the rest of it. I am loving all of these pumpkins. Even just looking at this video, I'm so mad that I didn't buy this one because it's super cute. I definitely need to pick up some more pumpkins for the rest of the house, but they had big ones, little ones, shiny ones. I mean, and I love that they had so much glam stuff. Like, I love that you could just dress everything up and make it super cute. I was gonna get one of these, but I put it back and I totally regret it. They have, you know, just the traditional stuff and just really unique pieces. I feel like that's why I like home goods. The only thing is you don't see the same stuff at every single store. That's the only problem, but they had dishware and just all these different things to bring the holiday season, the fall season into your home. But look at how cute these are. Like I loved this one. It's just so plain and simple, but $12.99, I mean, you can't beat that. These prices are great. And I feel like if you don't have a lot of money to spend on decor, you can always get one piece here, one piece there. I honestly only got two pieces last year because we had just moved into our house and I got two little pumpkins and now they just got added to my collection. But there's just some cute ones. Like, And I feel like this teal color is really popular right now all these different blue and teal pumpkins, which is really cute. I'm personally not going for that. I like, I mean, I don't have traditional colors, but I like sticking to the colors that I like so I can continue to add to them every year. I really like this pumpkin. I don't know why I didn't get it. See, I'm shopping in my own video right now because I'm like, I need to go back. <laughs> so anyways, here's some more traditional stuff, but what I thought was so cute. Oh yes, this one was cute too, this little polka dot one. I love that, but I already found some cheaper ones from the dollar store for the kids, so I'm like, you know what? I don't need to get that one. But what I found coming up here is this adorable pumpkin. It looks like a Cinderella carriage, okay? I am coming back for this no matter what. I just didn't get it that day. I don't wanna spend too much in one day, but look how cute it is. It's like a carriage and it's got little pumpkin wheels. And then there was this lace one. I thought I really, really like this. It has like a nice texture to it, but there was just some really, really cute pieces, you guys. If you have a home goods near you, 
I would highly suggest hitting up Home Goods, maybe even before any of the other stores, just so you can get your unique pieces and things you may not be able to find anywhere else. But yeah, they had such a good variety of everything. Okay, the next stop on the list was Target. Now, I don't know if you guys have this issue, but I was super disappointed in my Target dollar spot. Yes, my store is clean, but I don't care, honestly, if it, my store was dirty, as long as they have the variety. I did not see all the beautiful things, the plaid pillows and all the stuff I was looking for. I even asked the lady, like, where's all the stuff at? She says, I'm sorry, it either gets sold out or we don't get it to the store. I'm like, mm-hmm. So I was a little disappointed, but I did pick up a couple of these little pumpkins, these cute little textured ones. I didn't get any of these little guys, but I thought they were super cute. They were only a dollar. And then um, I did pick up a couple more of these tiny, tiny little, they're glass little pumpkins. So I got, I think like four or six of these, but they were so cute. I'm coming back for one of those if they have them, those pumpkins that you can put like cookies and stuff in. I really like those. And then I started getting stuff for my kids' playroom. Like I said, they're doing the fun colors. So I got this black and white stripe one. It was only like a couple of bucks. So I'm like, yes, that one's super cute. I got a glitter one, an orange one, a polka dot one. I thought this was so cute. Home sweet haunted home, that was adorable. And then over here, I saw this little set that had like spiked pumpkins, but I had already got a bunch of little ones. So I was like, you know what, I'll hold off on that. But you guys, Target also had a huge selection. I would say more, it was more like Halloween versus like fall decor. So it kind of just depends on what you're going for. But if you're having a Halloween party, definitely, definitely hit up Target because they had everything. All the kind of stuff for like party bags. If you're looking for things that aren't candy to pass out for Halloween, Target is definitely your spot to go to. But they had a variety of pumpkins. Not all the pumpkins that I liked that I saw at Home Goods. I preferred Home Goods. But I mean, all the you know, pumpkin decorating stuff. We ended up picking up this sign for the kids' playroom, which I thought was really, really cute. But they had skulls and different things. I'm not into the skulls as much. Um, I have like one or two, but um, they also had the Day of the Dead stuff. I thought that was really, really cute. I didn't pick up any of that, but I did get these, which you wash them out and you can put like drinks or like really fun stuff. Oh, and check the end caps, you guys, because I found these pumpkins as I was walking out, which were really cute. Okay, so next place is Hobby Lobby. Oh my goodness. I was really overwhelmed here because there was so much stuff. They had the plaid pumpkins and the traditional orange stuff, but you guys, they had everything. And so much Christmas stuff if you guys are ready for that, but I'm not ready for that. I'm just still trying to deal with fall, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, they had a bunch of candles, things to make your house smell good. They had garlands and literally everything. Like all the different styles too. I feel like they had a whimsical and earthy and glam and pretty much everything. Not as much glam as I would like to see, but they definitely had, you know, farmhouse and all of that stuff. So super, super cute stuff in here. So what was catching my eye were some of these pumpkins. Now, I really liked the variety of colors they had. They even had copper. I'm seeing a lot of people decorating their kitchen in copper, so I was like, wow, this is perfect for them. But I found this pumpkin. I actually really liked this one. It was $17.99. And then they had some other little ones. Oh, these acorns, you guys. These were so cute. I got a couple of these. I might even come back for some of these because they were that cute. But they're glass, so definitely keep that in mind for the little ones. Then they had a bunch of different plates. I am for sure coming back for these leaves. I wanna do like a cheese tray or something for the holidays. And I really, really like these. I wish I would've just got them, but I, like I said, I try not to get carried away in one day. So I'm kinda of just, you know, deciding what I want. And like I said, if you guys wanna see another one of these videos, let me know. But yeah, these little pumpkins, the gold ones, they had napkin holders. I thought these were all pretty cute too. And then there was some centerpiece, what are those called? Table runners and stuff. I didn't prefer the colors. I thought they were a little too busy, but they had these little gather signs and trays. There's just so much stuff, you guys. It was, they had a really, really cute variety. So if you're going with the plaid, like the black and white plaid I've been seeing, they definitely had a lot of that here. Some gold glitter pumpkins, which I was thinking of doing a DIY and making some, just buying a couple cheap ones and making my own and picking my own colors. Let me know what you guys think about that. Okay, you guys, we are in my dining room. 
and this is, I'm setting out all the stuff that I'm gonna start decorating the house with. So I have pink on here right now with some pink flowers and just pretty simple. Um, I went to Target, this is a bunch of stuff for the kids and their playroom. I went to the dollar store, I went to Home Goods. I got these from Ross last year, this is from Target, and I have a bunch of stuff from Hobby Lobby, okay? And then over here is my drink station. And I got a lot of this stuff for my drink station at Big Lots. So it's pretty plain right now. I gotta put my glasses away that I just washed and we're basically gonna redo the coffee station because now we're starting to head into hot chocolate season. So I love to just put out a whole spread. So I'll be showing you guys how I do it in just a second. Okay, so I've taken everything out of the bags and now I'm gonna show you guys what I got from each place. So this was all Hobby Lobby. I got this Give Thanks. I'm doing like a mix between gold and silver. I don't know if you guys can see that in this tablecloth. I got it pretty, I feel like it's not too crazy. It's kind of neutral because we're gonna have a bunch of pumpkins and stuff on top, so I didn't want it to be too much. But, so I got some gold stuff from Hobby Lobby. I love these little glass acorns. Like, how cute are these? I got this welcome pumpkin. I'm still not sure where I'm putting everything, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna go in the front somewhere of the house. And then I got these two from Home Goods. So this was, I think how much was this? $14.99. I thought that was a good price. And then I got this fall thing. I think I'm gonna do this at the bar, the drink bar where the coffee stuff goes. This stuff was all from the dollar store, which I was super surprised. Now I have some funky colored stuff in here because I let the kids decorate their playroom in the fun colors. So these ones are from the dollar store. Like this is super pretty. I'm really happy that I found these. And then I got these two because I like the textured ones. It adds like, you know, a different element to it. So I like that. And then these funky little pumpkins for the kids' room, so those are super cute. I'm gonna start grouping everything in the rooms they go in in just a second. So now all this stuff is from Target. These little pumpkins are from the Target dollar spot. I think this was like $3, yep. And then I got another one back here. I got a black and white one. Like I said, these ones are for the kids' room. Oh, and look at this, this is so cute. You wash these and the kids can like put stuff in them, like drinks and stuff. I think this was like $10. Sorry, I wouldn't focus there. And then I got this little thing for their room. And then another couple of these like textured pumpkins. So I'm excited to start putting everything together for you guys. So now I'm gonna start moving these over so I can put this down. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this beaded thing. I really love this. And I think it would definitely go with the theme that I'm going with. But we'll see if it's too much. I told you guys I like glam. So I really like layering things so this is on top and i don't think a lot of people would think to pair it but i feel like that's how you make things look good is adding layers different textures and having like a piece like this bring all the colors together because you know i would feel like a lot of people would never mix metals or different colors but i think you can do it as long as you have something to bring it and tie it together so i put this here i don't think i'm going to keep it i feel like the base and everything, it just feels really bulky. I'm, I don't know, I'm just playing with it right now and trying different configurations of pedestals to pumpkin. So we're gonna see, cause I definitely want a couple different heights and layers of pumpkins. And then I'm gonna put a few scattered on the table. So we'll see how this turns out. I'll keep checking in with you guys and showing you my progress. I have these pumpkins here, and I can't decide if I wanna keep this because I feel like it looks really rustic, but it might be too much. That's my dog in the background, if you can hear that. And then, I don't know about this one. Okay, so I put these pumpkins on little pedestals right here, and I like that they're more elevated off the ground. And then I've set one of these on here. Anyways. This is how I think I'm gonna do it. I really like that it's got all the pumpkins. It's like a cluster and it's a lot of fun. And I think it's really cute. What do you guys think? I told you I'm glam. I really like the glam theme. And I still have like the gold pumpkins, but they're not like bright orange like the kids' rooms are gonna be. So anyways, I really liked how these two 
complemented each other. It brings out the gold in this. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have plates. I'm gonna have plates and napkins and everything. So next is my drink station. Let me close it. Okay, so here's the chaos. I've got like candies and different things. Oh, let me just show you what I got really quick. Okay, I got these. The lady told me that supposedly people come in and say they're amazing. I got these because we're having company and I wanna make like a whole little station with pastries and good stuff. Okay, and then I got these salted caramel biscottis. And these were what? I think these were $2 or something. I don't know, everything is so cheap here. Then I got some Thin Mints. I love when you have like different chocolates and stuff and people can put them in their hot chocolate or whatever they wanna do. And then I got some of these marshmallow cookie thingies. And I got two more boxes. I like to have these on hand. Of course, we got the marshmallows, okay? Only other thing that I might be setting out here are these marshmallows. Oh, guess. Look at, they're like Lucky Charm marshmallows. Yes, I got two bags. My kids are gonna freak over these. How fun if you can put these in your hot chocolate. So I think I'm gonna set these out as well. So now I'm starting to put the stuff in everything. I have the biscottis right here and I'm so glad that they're individually wrapped. I would definitely check out Big Lots. They had a lot of food and snacks and a bunch of stuff for the holidays at really, really good prices. So I would definitely check out Big Lots. These Thin Mints are so good and they're only a dollar a pack. It took me two packs to fill this little guy up, but it's perfect and I feel like they will definitely get eaten fast, so I don't think they'll go to waste. It's taking everything out of me not to taste these marshmallows. All right, so I just wanted to show you how I ended up putting things together. I use these glass dishes as risers, and then I start putting my coffee canisters and hot chocolate on top of them to give them some lift. I got my tray, my little fall thing I got from Home Goods. I put one of those acorns. I did an elevated pumpkin on a candlestick and a little give thanks sign. Then I have my mints, my biscottis, and we have two types of marshmallows because we're being extra right now. And then I have my um, powdered cream and sugar and I put a couple little scattered pumpkins and this little dish with all the desserts. Okay, you guys, here is everything. Okay, now I'm taking you guys to the kids' playroom. We're getting ready to decorate with the kiddos. This is what it looks like. I have a whole video on how I redid my playroom. I will link that in the down bar below and how we organize our toys and our toy closet organization. I will also link that video because I like to keep it super minimal in here, but we are decorating for Halloween, so it's time to get out those Halloween decorations. And I even have my little ones helping me out. So. I just wanted to show you guys, we got a garland going. I got a couple things that we already had from last year, but a lot of this stuff I got from the dollar store. So we have Roman and Jade putting up the garland and they just love doing this kind of stuff. And then I got my little guy. He's gonna be helping us out, put some pumpkins up top. And we're just kind of scattering the pumpkins around and giving the room some color and making the kids feel special while they get to decorate. And every time they come in here, they're gonna feel super festive, so. I love being able to share these moments with them and enjoy this kind of time together. And it just brings those traditions and memories together. And I just love doing this kind of stuff with them. Then we're just gonna put the sign over here, a couple more of these pumpkins on their kitchen. And I don't know if this is gonna stay here because if the babies start grabbing it, we'll just move it to the entertainment center. But for now, they get to enjoy looking at their decorations and decorating the whole room. And then we have this little light up thing. We've had this for years. I'm pretty sure we got it at Walmart, but it's like a spider web that lights up. And then um, he's just kind of wrapping it around the teepee. And then my daughter is gonna add the giant spider. Next, we got this caution tape from the dollar store. And I think that ju this just literally brings the whole room together. It was so cute and I love that the kids kind of got to pick the placement and decided where things were going. They had a blast doing this. And of course we had to have the little peanut help 
She was doing such a good job, as you can tell. You guys, I hope you enjoyed my fall home decor video. I just love these videos. I'm so excited to do one. And let me know in the comments below, where do you guys like to shop? And are there any key pieces that you have to have for fall home decor to make it feel like fall? I'm really curious. And if you made it to the end, thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel. And you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit that little bell, and give your girl a thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.